One of my favourite podcasts, Emily, is actually by Ed Milet, and you've probably heard me talk about him a fair bit, actually. I have. (laughs) Um, I love his content. He just has so many great nuggets to share. And one particular podcast he spoke about was about listening. Yes. And how to actively listen and listen properly. And this particular podcast, a couple of really key takeaways, but one of those was that when you are in a conversation with someone, First of all, you need to be 100% present in that conversation. Yeah. And I think this is so crucial. We live in a world now where we are constantly thinking of what's next. What are we doing next? I've got half an hour here. I've got 15 minutes there. And you're constantly forward thinking, which yes. is fantastic that we are forward thinking, but we're not present in the moment. Very and true. when you're in a conversation with someone, the whole idea is that you're engrossed in what they're saying and you're genuinely learning and listening and asking them questions because you're interested in what they're saying. So. One of those things, as I said, was that you are present Mm -hmm. in exactly what they're saying. Yes. And the other part of that was that when you're having a conversation with someone, you should aim to listen more than you talk. So by the end of the conversation, if you've spoken more than 50% of the time, then were you really giving them their full respect and listening to them as much as possible? Um, And finally, which is another really difficult one, and probably one that I struggle with a little bit is Mm. one, don't interrupt the other person, which is a bit of a given, but don't finish their sentences. Very true. It's so hard, hard. but it's also, do you know what I find hard? Even in talk, it's like an inception here, thinking about what you're going to say next. That's right. And you're not actually listening and absorbing everything that person's saying. Well, you might half be, but you're not fully present. Even people listening to this podcast right now, are you actually listening to everywhere we're saying or is your mind drifting off to what's happening in your surrounds? Exactly. And I think it is only going to get harder in time. I think so. The more technology, the more noise we have, the harder it's going to be for us Mm. to just focus on one sole thing. So probably encourage people to take a moment this week and be present, really, really listen, show interest. And my nan always told me, Emily, you have two ears and one mouth for a very good reason. And it's a common saying, um, but it's very true. And it's so true. So actually critique your listening and Mm. your conversation because, and I remember specifically what Ed Milet said is that if you are finishing someone's sentence, for example, it's their sentence. They own it. They own that thought. Let them find the word for that thought. Very true. So there you have it. Active listening and not interrupting and... We're going to be conscious of this all the time now. But thank you so much for listening and don't forget to check us out on Instagram at with Evelyn and Emily for more content.